At first, it looked like a car accident was to blame, but tonight a local college student is dead and police are now saying it was murder. ABC 7's Ross Plater has been following this story all night, and so Ross, police are now saying they know who killed Xavier Stringfellow. In fact, they, do, they say they do, and this was quick work by Fairfax County Police. Late tonight, they announced they had arrested a Gainesville man in this murder, a 22-year-old Johnny E. Bonilla. Now, the motive is still a mystery. The victim was a student home from college on break. His friend described him as a talented athlete, a hard worker on and off the field. Xavier Stringfellow was just 19 years old, described as a standout football player at Ferrum College and Battlefield High School in Manassas before that. His friends are trying to comfort each other over his loss. That's just the hardest thing for me is imagine how his mom and his girlfriend, are, what, what they're going through, because I don't know what I would do if it happened to me. Fairfax County Police discovered his body about 7 Friday night in Vienna, just off Chainbridge Road and Glengyle Drive, where his minivan had crashed into a barrier. Investigators say he had been stabbed to death, that he did not know his suspected killer, but that the two had planned to meet up that evening. Friends say Stringfellow was a sophomore business major at Ferrum, well-liked in the classroom. That's the biggest moment that I'll have from him, is just him being so um, ambitious and um, willing to do anything for anyone and well liked on the athletic field anything you needed him to do he would do it whether it be in the weight room whether it be on the field you needed him to give 110 percent he'd give you 120. i'm still in shock it's been people telling me i don't i don't want to believe it but it's just it's rough i now, police aren't releasing information on how and why the two men met. We do know there was a struggle and that Stringfellow was stabbed. We expect more details as the investigation continues. In the Satellite Center, I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. All right, Ross, thank you. Indeed.